Hello, it's a day at home day for us today. Um, it's the usual kind of thing, as usual. Izzy's doing her maths. She's doing her online video and typing-y maths lesson. I think she's doing data in tables today, something like that. At two o'clock we have our Portuguese Skype lesson. I'm feeling kind of a bit more prepared this week than I was last week. I've been doing the flashcards from Izzy's last lesson with her for about 15 minutes a day since in on the weekdays. I haven't really done a lot of my own. That's a problem, you see. I spend so much time helping Izzy to do learning that I then don't do any myself. <laughs> Izzy's just come back down. She's finished her maths. She's told me that she's still got some worksheets to go through for her English curriculum. So she can do that independently while I practice. I've got a bit of a practicing mission on today. I'll tell you about it in a minute. So the thing is, I've been ill all this week, right? Yes, you have. I could have. Uh, I accepted a very last minute booking a couple of weeks ago for the Forest of Dean tomorrow with only a three piece band and that includes the caller. I haven't played with the other musician, one of the other musicians since about 2003 or something like that. He was an old friend of mine and the caller, I, yeah I know him okay but we don't play together very often so what I should have been doing over the last four days is practicing their set so that I go in confidently tomorrow, knowing it all. But I was just too ill, I couldn't get off the sofa, so... Uh, Wednesday evening I kind of coughed and croaked and blew my nose through researching what the set actually was. Did some printing out of notation. Subsequently found out half of them were in the wrong key, so I need to do a bit of sorting out. But anyway, I'm going to have a quick go at that now while Lizzie does her English, and when she's ready to do more school I'll do more school with her, and then when she's finished her school I'll come back to it. Sometimes you just gotta cheat and learn it off the dots. You see, this whole traditional music thing, it's supposed to be an oral tradition, but when you've been ill all week and you've got a few hours, if that, to learn a whole set's worth, you've just gotta cheat. Sorry. <laughs> Good, that's that one. Managed to get this one in the wrong key. It's supposed to be in B flat. I had it in D. Uh, whoops. Uh, anyway, so I've just marked it in and changed the key signature so I can just about make out that. I printed these all out yesterday off. The Session. The Session is a very good website. If you want to know how an Irish tune goes, just type in the name and it'll probably be on there. This is Flat World. This is a good one. I've just managed to learn it yesterday in B minor. Subsequently discovered we're doing it in E minor. Rosa, I had a go at this tune yesterday in F. Or it's relative minor even, D minor. Um, but it's supposed to be in E minor, so I've got to transpose that up a tone. Yep, those are okay. Apparently this is a different regiments, farewell to Gibraltar, but I bet it's the same tune, you know. I bet it is. Right, better get on. Let's have a go at this B flat one then, shall we? See, after a time I will change all this. I'll keep to the bare bones of the tune, but I'll be supplementing some of the little passages for just like an ornamentation and there's some bits I'll just go now I'm going to change that, it sounds a bit overly fussy, I'm going to simplify that, or some bits I might complicate, just, that's what happens with trad, it's not like classical at all, I'm playing it really straight at the moment, like a classical player almost, just for the sake of learning it off the dots. <laughs> so that's an example there, right, hang on, look at this, see that, that bit there, where are we, that, B, A, B, well it's B flats, da da da, I might just do a B roll, or B flat roll, da da da, there for instance, see? I've been doing this for so long, it just happens automatically, like as more as I start to get familiar with the tune, all those little things, they just, they just come in, I've been playing a long time. See that bit, I'm supposed to be doing the lowest note, so let me show you, it's supposed to be da 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 da, but I'm going da 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 because I can't get to that B. The lowest I can play is a C, which is this. 
Can you see that? So it's that fingering, it's everything covered. Every last one is down. So it's got the whole, the reverberation is for the whole of the length of the entire tube, you see. But the B, that B flat is a half lower than that, so I can't do it. So that's why I'm just having to cheat and go up the octave. But when the fiddle's playing and the box is playing, nobody's going to know. I'm going to stop waffling on now because I'm distracting myself from doing what I'm supposed to be doing. See you later. I have been summoned. She's done. Well, I had a quick blast through a few of them. So it's certainly better than nothing. And I've made a start. So I'll come back to that later in the day. She's gone up to do her emollient now. Isabel has got quite a few topical applications to do per day as part of her... Um, care routine for her medical condition so we do tend to schedule it in in between the home ed activities it kind of gives her brain a break from the concentrating and it gets it all done uh, like if she was at school she'd have to be up uh, early to fit it all in but because she can't sleep at night because of her elevated histamine level and the fact that she's itching and uncomfortable all the time she would just never get enough sleep so she's doing that now and I'm going to just squeeze in another 10 minutes of practice while she's doing it. I'm doing a lot of changing my mind today. Isabel reckons she's going to be very quick. So, in the 20 minutes before our Portuguese lesson, which is at 2, we're going to do just 20 minutes working through an Excel take a tour tutorial thing, which is really interactive actually. I'll show you a bit of it. I'm just making us a hot drink each though, while she just finishes her creams off. Take a tour. In just 10 steps, you'll be up and running with Excel, the world's most popular spreadsheet app. Woohoo! Add numbers like a champ. Here are some ways to add up numbers in Excel. First thing to do, number one, select the yellow cell under the amounts for fruit. Can you find that? Yeah, there. Okay, go for it. Well done, right. Next, you see number two, type, and then there's something really precise to type there, equals sum in capitals, open brackets, d4 colon d7 close brackets, d4 and colon, can you remember what the colon is? Yep, well done, d7 and close bracket, good, there we are, and you see so, do it well it's added up all these, and now there's only four, and this would have been very easy to do in your head, and in fact she did do it in her head before she'd even typed it in. But imagine you've got 150 figures, imagine it's all your train receipts for the whole year for your tax return, and you can't be bothered to add them all up. She's got it, you yeah, baby, she's got it. Woohoo! I figured all of those out before I actually did this sum. Well, that's brilliant, isn't it? Fantastic. Math is paying off. Save time by filling cells automatically. Here's how to use the fill handle in Excel. Click the cross and drag down three cells. Excel will automatically fill the cells with the totals 110, 120 and 130. People call this filling down. Oh, I see, because it's this plus this equals that, so it's added it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, brilliant. She's going totally off piste. You're ahead, aren't you? Going ahead of the game. I already made she's one for bread. Got a little table here that she's transposed it down into sort of a vertical display rather than horizontal. And she's just experimenting with the different types of charts that you can make. You're just off, you're manic, aren't you? You're wild. Well, yes, you certainly learn a lot by experimentation, don't you? And you're quite yeah. fearless with it. If you want to stay and play with Excel while I have my lesson, you're very welcome. Okay. Would you like to do that? Yeah, sure. One Portuguese lesson later, and um, Izzy's helping with lunch. How's that going? I'm microwaving some green beans, and we're going to do some toast with it as well. And that's it, that's going to be our lunch. How are you getting on? I'm done. Here's a fact about Izzy she loves scissors. She really loves scissors. She wants to have loads of scissors as a collection. But anyway, we got given these chives yesterday. Lucky us. And um, Izzy is snipping them into the scrambled egg mix. I just don't snip your gloves. Izzy's just wearing gloves because she's got such sensitive skin that I think raw egg will probably itch like crazy. Am I right? Mm -hmm. We've got a variety of chive sizes going in there. We might have a bit of vinyl glove trimming as well if we're not careful. How's it coming on? Mm -hmm, good. Can you feel it sticking to the sides of the pan? Yeah. I think we could turn that down a little bit. It looks like it's too dangerous. 
cooking your wrists. We don't want that, do we? That's it. So collect up every bit that sticks to the pan. That's how we cook scrambled eggs. We just keep it moving all the time. Keep going. Don't let any stick because it start, could start to burn then. Oh, and after a while it'll all be like that. It'll be like what? Solid. Solid! Solid as a rock! Do 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 do! Well, that wasn't very tuneful. I've been ill, you know. There's Izzy's there. Hopefully she'll enjoy that. She loves green beans. It's later in the evening now. I've spent quite a bit of time reading to Izzy on the sofa after lunch. And I'm going to practice my flute now. And I'm going to sign off from the vlog because I've got the boyfriend turning up after I practice. And uh, he's not a fan of the camera, is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now. Thanks so much for watching. You know the drill. Is he? What's the drill? Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.